there. Take a look at our galaxy. There are 100 billion stars in our galaxy. Now, take a look at the galaxies of the universe. We can actually count them. In the visible universe, our telescopes have the range to see 100 billion galaxies. Well, how many stars are there in the visible universe? Count them. 100 billion times 100 billion. That is an astronomical number. You have to be supremely arrogant to believe that we are the only ones in town. Here we are 25,000 light years away from the center of our galaxy. And our galaxy is over 100,000 light years across. But even that, as large as it is, is kind of a speck in the cosmic distance scale. Our Milky Way galaxy may appear big to us, but compared to some others out there, it's actually pretty small. Come around here and let me have a look at you. My goodness, look at you. You turned out all right, didn't you? How do you feel? Let's get the obvious stuff out of the way. You're not human, right? Well, it's tough to get any more obvious than that. If I had to guess, I'd say you're a program from the machine world. So is he. So far, so good. But if that's true, that could mean you're a part of the system. Another kind of control. Keep going. I suppose the most obvious question is, how can I trust you? Bingo. It is a pickle, no doubt about it. Bad news is there's no way if you can really know whether I'm here to help you or not. So it's really up to you. Just have to make up your own damn mind to either accept what I'm going to tell you or reject it. Candy? There are multitudes of cultures and societies that exist throughout the vastness of space. And these societies and cultures have been on and off this planet from the very beginning. It is not just that we, the Pleiadians, have come to assist. We are only one grouping from one star system. There are many who have journeyed here for many reasons. The majority of the extraterrestrials are here for your upliftment though there are also those who are here for other reasons. We give our version of things only to bring you into higher consciousness. We do not wish to say that this version and only this version is how it is. This whole teaching is designed with a great purpose in mind and the stories that we tell you are set up to take you to a higher plane of consciousness 
that is our intention. You are magnificent beings, members of the family of light, and you come to Earth at this time on assignment to create a shift, to make a change, to assist in the transition. You were told before you came here that there would be much assistance and that at different junctures of your development, different entities would present themselves upon the planet in different capacities to trigger you, fire you up and remind you not to do it for you. We are one of those triggers, a catalyst. When you hear the name Pleiadians, you feel a connection because we are assisting you in bringing your own information your own knowing forward. You yourself chose to be here. You are on assignment to bring memory forward and to bring the value of human existence back to the forefront of creation. You are needed. You have been in training for this assignment for lifetimes and you did not come unprepared. All that you need to know now is inside of you and it is your task to remember your training. This is not a lifetime when you are going to be taught new information. As we said before, this is the lifetime when you are going to remember what you already know, and we are just here to remind you of it. That is part of our assignment. Humanity is an experiment. Humanity has been designed, as has just about everything else that exists within creation. Prime Creator began experimenting with creation a long time ago in this universe for the purpose of greater self-exploration, self-gratification, and self-expression. Prime Creator brought energies and essences of life, extensions of itself, into this universe and endow those extensions with the gifts that it had. Prime Creator said to these extensions of itself, go out and create and bring all things back to me. Earth was a beautiful place located on the fringes of one of the galactic systems and easily reached from other galaxies. It was close to many way portals, the highways that exist for energies to travel throughout space. Some of the creator gods were master geneticists. The master geneticists designed various species, some human, some animal, by playing with the varieties of DNA that the sentient civilizations contributed to make Earth into this exchange center of information, this light center this living library. The original planners of Earth were members of the family of light, beings who worked for and were associated with an aspect of consciousness called light. They designed a place where galaxies would contribute their information and where all would be able to participate and share their specific knowledge. Earth was to be a cosmic library, a place of incredible beauty that experimented with how information could be stored through frequencies and through the genetic process. The project of the Living Library on Earth was eventually fought over. During Earth's early history, there were wars in space for ownership of this planet. Skirmishes took place and Earth became a place of duality certain creator gods who had the right to do whatever they wanted because earth is a free will zone came in and took over when the skirmish occurred a certain group of entities fought in space and won the territory of earth these new owners did not want the native earth species the humans to be informed of what took place uninformed the species would be easier to control that is why light is information and darkness is lack of information. These entities beat out light and earth became their territory. These new owners who came here 300,000 years ago are the magnificent beings spoken of in your Bible, in the Babylonian and Sumerian tablets and in texts all over the world. 
They came to Earth and rearranged the native human species. They rearranged your DNA in order to have you broadcast within a certain limited frequency band whose frequency could feed them and keep them in power. They worked in their laboratories and created versions of humans with a different DNA, the two-stranded double helix DNA. The original DNA pattern was left within the human cells, yet it was not functional. It was split apart, unplugged. We, as Pleiadians, came back through time into what would perhaps be called our past. We came back in order to share a frequency with you, a frequency that each one of you has agreed to carry on this planet in order to change the DNA of the rearranged human race. Earth is assisting in its own way the evolution of the universe. It is where the plan begins to blossom and what happens on Earth is going to affect many, many worlds. The creator gods who have been ruling this planet had the ability to become physical, though mostly they exist in other dimensions. They keep Earth in a certain vibrational frequency while they create emotional trauma to nourish themselves. There are some beings who honor life before everything else. And there are also beings who do not honor life and do not understand their connection to it. Who are these beings who came in and rent asunder the original plans for Earth? Who are these space beings we sometimes refer to as the dark t-shirts? These space beings are part human and part reptilian. We call them the Lizzies because we like to make things a little less emotional and a little humorous so that you don't take them so seriously and get so upset. We are not here to frighten you. We are here to inform you. They have fed off your emotions. One of the big secrets that has been kept from you as a species is the richness and wealth that accompanies emotion. You have been steered away from exploring emotion because through emotion you can figure things out. Your emotions connect you with the spiritual body. The spiritual body, of course, is non-physical, existing on the multidimensional sphere. Why are we telling you all this? Why do you need to know it? You need to know it because the Lizzie reality is re-entering and merging with your dimension. As you awaken to your history, you will begin to open your ancient eyes. These are the eyes of Horus, which see not through the eyes of a human being, but from the point of view of a god. They see the connectedness and purpose of all things, for the ancient eyes are able to see into many realities and to connect the whole picture, the whole history. All of this is to be felt. Allow your brain cells to click into being without your rational conscious mind wanting to define things down to the most minute detail. This experience involves raising a feeling inside yourself and then one day, at one moment, in one afternoon, having an overwhelming sense of knowing, having a composition of a thousand pages long come alive in five seconds of divine ecstasy. Before you came into the body, all of you committed to designing events that would fire your codings or blueprints that would activate your memories. Then you came into the body and you forgot. All of you have had your blueprints and coatings fired to some extent because you understand that there is a divine purpose or divine plan that you are a part of. 
You hold the history of the universe within your physical body. What is occurring upon the planet now is the literal mutation of your physical body. For you are allowing it to be evolved to a point where it will be a computer that can house this information. The firing of the codings and the realization of your identity are going to become phenomenally intense. The reason for this is the evolving DNA. When you have 12 helixes of DNA in place, those helixes will begin to plug into the 12 chakra system. The 12 chakras are vortex centers loaded with information that you must be able to translate. You have to become super beings in whatever reality you enter because as members of the family of light, the branch of renegades, this is your forte. As members of the family of light, you know the inside scoop. You come as ambassadors to make realities merge and become more informed within themselves so that everyone involved can release fear and become uninhibited. As you grow and come to these higher realms of recognition, you will break through what feels like cement blocks, layers of yourself that have held you down. Think of the frequency that has limited the human experiment as a radio station. The human experiment has had one radio station on for 300,000 years. Same old tunes. The human experiment was unable to turn the dial and hear a different band, so the same frequency was broadcast. This created a quarantine, a sealing off of this planet. The creative cosmic rays sent by Prime Creator and the original planners pierce through this frequency shield. They bombard Earth. However, they must have someone to receive them. Without a receptacle, these creative cosmic rays would create chaos and confusion. You, as members of the Family of Light, come into this system to receive these rays of knowledge. You then disseminate the knowledge, the new lifestyle, and the new frequency to the rest of the population to alter the entire planet. The ultimate tyranny in a society is not control by martial law. It is control by the psychological manipulation of consciousness through which reality is defined so that those who exist within it do not even realize that they are in prison. They do not even realize that there is something outside of where they exist. We represent what is outside of what you have been taught exists. It is where you sometimes venture and where we want you to dwell. It is outside of where society has told you you can live. What we want more than anything else is to assist you, as members of the Family of Light, to succeed in liberating the humans. Focus on the dance of yourself. To what tune will you dance, and to what magic will you perform? And to what heights will you be willing to push consciousness to give it a new definition of possibilities? Members of the Bringers of the Dawn or Family of Light work in teams. You don't go into systems alone. You need each other to do this work because you cannot hold the frequency by yourself. By going in as teams, you increase the odds of successfully carrying out the plan. You are like rays and light spirals of the central sun that are very intelligent, and you are guided by a great intelligence inside the central sun. The members of the family of light are much more than human. Characteristically, you are supreme achievers in the multidimensional realm. One applies for a position in the multidimensional realm as a member of the Family of Light. 
if you were to have a business card printed up for yourselves when you are in full memory of your identity, it would say something like, Renegade member of Family of Light, Systems Buster, available for altering systems of consciousness within the free will universe, on call. We speak to you as if you are not human, because to us, you are not. To us, you are members of the family of light, and we know your multidimensional selves. We speak to you about dealing with humans, because it is your assignment to integrate with them, soothe them, and awaken a spark of light within them, so that they are not all destroyed, and so that this place can house a new species, in a new realm of activity. Our final words include a thank you to all of you who recognize the light source that is a part of your identity and that moves you to follow the silent whispers that echo down the golden spirals through the corridors of your own being. We honor you we recognize you, and we are here to assist you. We are all here as the family of light to bring that choice and that freedom to evolve back onto this planet. Wake up. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. We have the power. We just need to take it back from this level of division, apartness, cardness, to isness, I amness. I am all that is, ever has been, and ever will be ness. exactly who the Pleiadians were. They're here to rescue the human beings who are being enslaved on this planet and forced into a, a paradigm of a super oligarchy. This is the level of the transformation. This is the level of the revol revolution, if you want to call it that. It's not guns, it's consciousness. So you're here to save the world. What do you say to something like that? In order to walk among us, they disguise their appearance by cloning human flesh from their own reptilian skin. I thought everyone here was up to speed. But the visitors didn't just get here. They've been here for years. This completion has been heralded by many for eons. What happens on Earth now will affect the entire universe.
There are lots of Pleiadians here. There are lots. I would say anybody who would be interested enough to watch something like this project probably is not from here, 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 not from here.